hi how are you how are you doing i haven't vlogged for so long that i actually feel a little bit awkward because it's literally been so so long since i last vlogged um but here i am i'm doing it i'm giving it a go um i've got an exciting few days coming up i've had a lot of messages from people saying please start vlogging again because i missed the vlog so i thought i would vlog for the next three ish days um and yeah, here I am. I'm doing it. I'm gonna vlog my days as best I can. Hopefully this goes well. I'm currently trying to balance you on an Ikea teddy bear, so I don't think we're off to a good start, to be honest, but it's fine. I'm just waiting for the dog walker to get back with the little guys before I head to Bista Village because I'm actually going to the south of France in three days. Um, and I just wanna see if they've got any little bits, like maybe some sunglasses, a bikini cover up, a beach bag, maybe a new pair of jeans just see what they've got and also Lou needs a new pair of leggings and she's obsessed with the Lululemon leggings now I've got her on the Lululemon train so I'm going to try and get her some of those um so yeah I'm very excited to be picking up the camera hopefully this goes well I don't know how well it's going to go um all the footage I get from Bisty Village is going to be taken on my phone because they're kind of funny about having cameras in there um but that's fine I'll, I'll insert it anyway so let's go <laughs> I just don't know if this outfit makes sense I think it does I've got like the browns and like the light colors. I think it's okay. I don't know. I don't know. I've been wanting to wear this shirt for so long and I've just been putting it off because I just don't know what to wear it with. But it's cute so I wanna, I wanna wear it. Okay, it's literally rammed here because I've had to come up to like the second story parking, which they don't usually make you do, but it's a Monday and that's when they get all their new stock. Also, when I wear these sandals, I have to take them off to drive. I have to drive barefoot. Um, so yeah, fun times. Um, I thought it was going to be really chill because it's a Monday, but also I knew that they get the new stock, so I didn't really know what to expect, but it's looking pretty busy. Did you know that just an hour outside of London is one of the best design outlets? This is where I headed today. First, I went into Levi's trying a pair of jeans because I'm looking for some black slim leg jeans, but this... I don't know if I like these. I popped into Reese and found this dress and it was actually on like double sale. It was so cheap, but I feel like it just wasn't flattering me that much. Then I went into Mage Marge. I never know how to pronounce it. And I found this tweed dress. I'm honestly obsessed with this. It's giving me Barbie movie vibes. I love it. I really love it. And I also love this one. Maybe I'm just vibing with the blue at the minute, but this had so much shimmer in it, but it was just so big on me. And I loved this color of yellow as well. But the only thing that was putting me off was like this area around the waist i feel like it just sits a little bit funny i popped into gucci and saw these gorgeous boots not for me personally but somebody else would love them and then i went into aquazura and i love these little trainers with the fruits and i love the lemon ones and finally i stopped off in max mara to try on a few coats because i need a new coat for the autumn winter Hi, can I please get the iced brown sugar shake and espresso? Um, a small one with soy milk, please. That was a pretty unsuccessful Bista Village trip. Um, because most of what I wanted just wasn't in stock. They just didn't have it or they didn't have it in my size. I liked a few bits in, I think it was Sandro. Or was it mage? I can't remember where it was, but I liked a few bits in there, but they just didn't fit right. So I only ended up getting this stuff from Neon. I completely lost mine. I don't know where they disappeared off to. So I've got the de-stress one and the scent to sleep one because I absolutely love these. I love my Neon diffuser. And yeah, I'm a fan. I am a fan of Neon. I love their products and I, I lost mine. So I thought I would get a new one. I'm gonna, you know, when you're just about to go on holiday and everything's like, Ooh. I did recently get some bits from H&M and Mango and stuff, so I thought I would show you what I got. So this is just really beautiful and simple. It's got this bit that goes around your neck and like drapes down your back. It looks really classy and sophisticated. Honestly, I don't know where to put you because I feel like you're really far away, but I've lost my tripod for my camera, so I'm having to put you on like the unit at the back of the bedroom, um, which feels very far away right now. Like I feel very far away from you. Um, then I got this dress from H&M. This was $27.99. It's just this beautiful green 
silky dress it's so pretty i love this style of dress where it's kind of like a baby doll style because i've said it a million times i don't want to bore you but i'm allergic to gluten and dairy and i get bloated all the time so i got this because i thought i can bloat nobody's gonna know you could be pregnant in that nobody's gonna know then from zara i got quite a few bits i got another dream grab another green grass i got another green dress this is more of like a khaki olive green which i really really like but it just doesn't fit me how i want it to fit me and i think when you're tall in zara sometimes it can work to your advantage but for me personally the waistline never sits where it should sit so i got this in an extra small i probably could have sized up to a small and then maybe the waistline would be longer but i still don't think it would have been quite right but i do love this because it's got shorts underneath so you just feel a little bit more contained which is nice and then i got this really cute little stretchy bandeau top this is absolutely adorable look at the little floral pattern on it they've got this in a maxi dress as well i got this in extra small and it was 29.99 it's so cute it's so pretty i think this was like a light blue pair of jeans it's done and then I also got some wide leg linen trousers. So these are like super wide leg, like that's the bottom of the leg. They're huge. I'm really struggling on how to style these. I think I'm going to film a little like styling reel to inspire you and me because right now I'm stuck. A little bit stuck. I wanted to get my Gramps some like New Balances as well because he loves my New Balances. He's obsessed with them. Every time I go around, he's like, I want a pair of trainers like that. But they didn't have his size and they didn't have my size in them. Um, I'll put a picture on the screen of the ones that I wanted to get for him. And I wanted the ones with the baby blue, but they didn't have it. They only had it in a four and a half or a six. So that sucked. But I'm going to go do a hair mask, wash my hair because I've got a hair appointment tomorrow for them to move my extensions up. So my hair needs to be like clean and fresh. So I'll probably talk to you tomorrow at some point. I am currently trying to pack for France and I'm struggling. So I've got some dressier options. First one is this. This is what I wore when I actually met Lou. So that's very cute. So I've got this one. It's very like Roman vibes. It's very like ethereal. I feel like a princess in this dress is really nice. And then I have this one. This is like my mom's dress and it's like very old because <laughs> my mom had this when she was like 18. But I feel like the style is still in and the style is definitely me with like the up and down hem. Um, I really like the purple, but it's just a little bit too big. It's an eight. So it's one size up from what I usually wear. So I feel like whenever I wear this, I like how it looks, but I'm constantly messing with it because it's too big. But I still like the dress. But I hate having to mess with my clothes to feel comfortable in them, but I'm still going to take it anyway. And then my last dressy option is this one from Reformation. And I feel like you can either dress this up or down, but I love this dress so much. It's got these beautiful like flowers, like the greens and the blues. I think it's supposed to be like hydrangeas. And I think it's just really, really pretty and a really nice option. I haven't bought any new summer clothes this year because the weather has just been so bad that I'm like, literally, what is the point in buying new clothes when the weather is just horrendous? So... I think that's all I'm gonna take with me and just use it as an excuse to go shopping. But I'm gonna go grab the suitcase and start packing because I need to take Molly to the vets because she's got a little UTI. Poor girl, I really sympathize. So I thought it was gonna be much easier to keep a bigger house tidy because I thought the old house is so small, like, you know, there's nowhere to put anything. It's more difficult to keep it tidy. No, no, no. In a bigger house, there's just more space to turn into a wardrobe floor. And that is what I do. That is what I do. It's just constant chaos. It actually is. And also, now when guests stay, they stay in the house, which is so nice, but you have to make beds because they're not staying in hotels. So you have to strip the beds, wash the bedding, put the bedding back on. And let me tell you, I hate changing bedding. I hate it duvet set that i got i actually got from vista village whenever i go to vista village i go to the white company because you just get such good deals i love the white company but i don't love the price tag like i will buy it online if i have to but if they have it in vista village i will make a trip there just to go get it it's only like 30 minutes away so it's not a big deal but this is called the cara hemp i think it's called and it's honestly stunning it's linen and it has these beautiful like frills along the edge so so pretty but they've discontinued the range they've discontinued it i don't know why they would do that but yeah i'm just trying to tidy everything up because we've got dog sitters while we're away 
and they're going to be using the spare bedrooms um, and the other spare bedrooms have already got the bed sheets on but this one doesn't because this is where my mom stayed. Good morning. I'm on the way to the gym right now. Last gym search before I go away. Honestly, it is the day before. Well, not even the day before because we go like tonight. So it's the day off basically. And I've done nothing. I've done literally nothing. I've like thrown a few things in a suitcase, but I haven't even fully packed. I don't think I've ever been this unorganized for a trip. And I think it was because it was so last minute because we're going to the south of France to do something really exciting that I'm not going to talk about yet. I know that's annoying, but sorry. Um, yeah, we're going to South France to do something that I can't really talk about. So it was like a last minute trip that had to be booked. Um, so I just feel really like unorganized, like completely unorganized. Um, which, you know, not fun. So it is many, many hours later now. I am back home. I've been running around like an actual headless chicken, trying to get everything done before we go away. A very last minute trip, like I said earlier. So I feel like there's lots of stuff that I've been like cramming to get done before we leave. So I'm not working while we're away because obviously I can't completely take time off, but I'd rather not be having to work for like four hours a day when we're on holiday. So I'm trying to get everything done that I can get done now. So I've just run myself a bath, which I'm very excited to get into. I've put my rosemary oil in my hair. My hair's got so much better since using that. It is not just like a TikTok gimmick. It is so good. I recently had an appointment at Philip Kingsley with like a trichologist and she looked at my scalp and said she could see so many new hairs growing in which was so good to hear from an actual professional because I can see the difference but having someone that's actually like professionally trained saying yeah your hair's getting thicker just made me feel better about everything so I'm very excited about that. Oiled my hair, run myself a bath, I've got my iPad in there because I've got quite a few things that need to be done on my iPad like emails, I've got a few contracts to sign so I'm going to do that in the bath, that is what I love about working from home. I am still so stressed out. I've done my hair, I've washed, I've got my fake tan off, thank God, finally, because this stuff was not coming off. And now I'm just trying to dry my hair. I'm not gonna do anything crazy with it. I'm just gonna like curl it with the round brush attachment because I'm gonna put my hair in heatless curls overnight. So I'm just gonna kind of get it to go in that direction. Okay, we've got the volume going. So yes, please, mommy. Yes, please, mommy. I love a bouncy ball out. Do you think we look alike? Me being stupid for 17 minutes straight. Ooh, pretty. Don't laugh at me. Charged. Ooh, shut him on. Ooh, these are really good. Yeah. Said what I said. These are really good. I'm impressed. Really good. How much are they? Don't do <laughs> How much were they? Huh? How much were they? Five hundred. Yeah. Got some. Got some. No, I'll stick with my crappy ones, babe. Got some for your birthday. No. You could use these with your decks. Yeah. Well, no, I don't think you can use one. You can't use Why? one of those. Because how do you? You, you can put one in here. Is it just a mm. orcs? 